Hey guys, Gemini Jets 46 here coming at you with another video. So now that I'm uploading more frequently, I hope you guys are liking it. I'll probably have an airport update out very soon, but I had to get views or views out before I got to my airport update. So in this bag, we have three new airplanes. Unfortunately, sad to tell you, they're all the same airline, but you know, I really needed to expand on this one airline at LAX. Um, if you can guess what it is in the comments, Go ahead. Um, so it's American, obviously. So we got the first airplane, the American ERJ-175. There's like 14,000 of them at LAX. So I figured I needed one. And then um, I decided to get another one because, you know, I just decided to. The third new model would be this. Boeing 737-800-1 World, so if we got this in, do the Embraer 175 on this side, scoot back a little bit, and there's my thumbnail. Okay, so I needed to expand on American at LAX because I did. Um, we'll go over the box, don't have a pen, I guess this will be my finger. So we have Gemini Jets made for collectors by collectors. Uh, computer generated model and rare ERJ 175 American Eagle 1400 scale die cast model aircraft. Um, okay, there is all the information. Pause and read. Okay, um, there's the model right there. So we'll go ahead and pull it open. Um, that's some exciting news. Hopefully, next March, I'll be flying to Honolulu. Then I'll get a trip report on out for that. Hopefully, the United 777. All right. There it is. The Embraer ERJ-175. Put that over here. Well, we don't need to undo it. This one. Same thing. We have Gemini Jets made for collectors by collectors. Computer generated model 737-800. American Airlines, one first scale die cast model. Look inside the tab. Boosh. There you go if you want to read that. Alright. I was not prepared for this video. I did not bring a freaking pen. Alright. And then this open. Pull off that. Put that over there. Put that back on. Goodbye. Alright. There it is. This is probably my favorite one. I mean, look at this. One World 737-800. Those winglets are dope. All right. All right. So I'm not going to do a review of the third one because you don't really need to see it. But yes, I realize this is an old table. Go buy a new one. If you could hear me. But I will open it, but you don't need to see the whole gym manager thing. You've heard it from every freaking review. And I bet it's getting a little old. Alright, so if you all want to route on this, you just let me know in the comments. Alright. So turn this over. There we go. I'll be right back when I go get a pen. multicolored one before unless you guys wanted me to wait for like 14 hours then I could probably find what you want but I'm pretty sure you guys don't care I like colors um we'll start with this one I'll put this one aside I don't need to do it okay zoom in focus all right so we have the cockpit over here we have the windows then we have the l1 boarding door the first landing gear american eagle after the Embraer or e190 or when it goes to the e190 it's not express or sorry eagle anymore then we have our windows up to the registration in 46 yx we have the second door it's not boarding door the american flag has their logo the engines, the hydraulics, all that stuff, flaps, wings. Um, then we have the winglets that are added 
angle. There we go. Ah, it's not going to focus, apparently. If we look on the bottom, we have the landing gear, the flaps, um, land, uh, this um, cargo boarding door, cargo, or carting, both cargo doors, Gemini Jets, where you put your stand, um, so yeah, that is the Embraer E-175, now I'll move that out of the way, and move to 737-800, so let me switch hands really quick, alright, we have the nose cone, and then we have the cockpit windows, the L1 boarding door, it says 737-700, or 737 down there, one world, um, logo, L1 boarding door, member of One World American Airlines. The two engines and the, did this have any? No. Alright, antenna, the first antenna, the wing, winglets, two engines. This is like where you walk off in case of emergencies. There's that. Switch again. I need a better system. Then we have the registration in eight. 37 and in. Zoom back out a little bit. And then we there is the American logo. We flip to the bottom. We have the cargo door. And you can see the American Airlines imprint. Gemini Jets logo. The two engines. The landing gear where it folds up. Where you put your stand, flaps, hydraulics. Hydraulics, I guess. And then the another cargo door. So yeah. Um, no Wi-Fi box. Alright. So yeah, that was just the little review I gave you guys. It wasn't a whole big review, but I just want you guys to know before I get out another airport update to you guys. Um, hope you guys like the cargo stand or the cargo part of the airport. If you want to route, comment down below. And thank you. And like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which should be... I'll be out of town this weekend, so I'll probably, I'll upload on the weekend, but probably film it on Friday or something, um, Mountain Daylight Time. Alright, thank you all for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.